Okay, Stacy, let's take a closer look at the CompuTorque SG. So, the U button here is to change the units. You see the wrench as in foot pounds. So, when you push the button, the U button, you can change it to inch pounds, change it to newton meter, kilogram centimeter, deca newton meter, and then back to foot pounds. Okay, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Multiple units of torque. Now to set the target torque, we use the up or down arrow key and just select your torque. One single push changes it by one value at a time, one foot pound in this case. If you push and hold the button, it'll start by counting one and then it starts skipping by tens. So you can see it goes 70, 80, 90, 100. So you can set it up pretty quickly. And it also goes in a circular rotation. So this wrench is a maximum of 100 foot pounds. So if I go up from 100, Oh, right. it, okay. it goes back around to five. Okay. This wrench can be programmed with up to 50 preset torque values. The values can be in any unit of torque and it can be in any unit of angle as well. So with 50 choices, it gives you a wide range of applications you can use this wrench for. So let's look at some of the other features. We're gonna go into the menu here, and we're just gonna briefly explain what the different values, different options are. So this wrench is capable of setting a head length. For example, if you're using a crow foot adapter, this wrench will automatically compensate for that. So you push this button, and here's where you have the set head length. So you measure from the center of the square drive to the center of the crow foot. You enter this amount here, and the wrench will automatically compensate for that crow foot. Once you set the desired length, just hit enter to accept it, and you're done. Now the next item down is show data. So this will show you what's been stored in the wrench, all the values that have been stored, the time and the date that they were taken. The next item down is clear data. So you highlight that, hit enter, and if you want to erase the data, you go key up to yes, push the enter key, and erase the data. Hello, and welcome to the demonstration of the 250 foot-pound Snap-on Digital Torque Checker. The Digital Torque Checker will check any torque wrench with a range from 25 to 250 foot-pounds. This checker is also available in the CDI brand. The CDI brand is the exact same unit except for the blue housing. So let's go ahead and turn this on. This is battery operated, runs on six standard AA batteries. We're going to turn it on. It has different modes. You push the enter key. It has peak mode, track mode, and first peak, which is abbreviated one peak. The first peak mode is for checking click wrenches. The peak mode is used for checking digital wrenches. You can also check dial wrenches as well. The track mode can be used for checking dial wrenches as well. The wrench features multiple units of torque. So first you select the mode that you want. If you have a click wrench, we want to put it in first peak, which is abbreviated one peak on the, on the tester. Then you select your units of torque. It features foot pounds, inch pounds, or newton meter. So once you select the range of torque that you want, you go ahead and put your wrench on there and check it. It also features a built-in 3 8 to half inch adapter. So if your torque wrench happens to be 3 8 you can use the adapter. It also features a nice built-in exercising socket. Before the wrench is checked, you should exercise it at least three times on the exercise socket before you check it. So now, let's go ahead and put a wrench in and see how it works. Now we will demonstrate the proper technique for checking a micrometer type click wrench. This particular click wrench has a 3 8 square drive. So I'm going to use the included 3 8 to half adapter. And first, before we check the wrench, you always want to exercise the tool. So this built-in socket on the bottom allows you to exercise the torque wrench. And we recommend a minimum of three times before you check the wrench. So we're going to check it. We're going to click it three times. And now we've got it warmed up. Now we're going to switch up to the machine. And put the wrench in, and we have the wrench set at 50 foot-pounds. So we're getting a reading of 49.8 foot-pounds. Very accurate. 
So we're gonna, we can do it as many times as we want. We'll check it one more time. 49.6. So as you can see, the wrench is set at 50 foot-pounds. We're getting a reading of 49.6, well within the allowed tolerance of the tool. So that shows that this wrench is properly calibrated. Thank you. The unit also features an AC adapter, which may be purchased as an accessory. All right, now we're going to illustrate the difference using a digital torque wrench. So we're going to put on the digital copy torque ASG, and we have the target torque set at 50 foot-pounds, just as we did the mechanical wrench. So as I apply torque, you'll notice, focus on these lights right here, you'll see the lights light up in succession. When the target torque is hit, the green light will light and the handle vibrates. So let's go ahead and apply the torque. There's the lights lighting up, and we hit the green. You can see the reading is 50.7. So let's try it one more time just to see how it works. Light up in succession. We call it the raceway lights. And we got a 49.6, so well within the tolerance. So the advantage of using a digital wrench is not only the accuracy, but the fact that it tells you if you've over torqued it. So now I'm going to go over 50 foot pounds on purpose. So as we apply the torque, I'm going to continue past it, and you'll see the red lights light up top and bottom, telling the operator that the, you know, the fastener has been over torqued. Oh, okay. So now we can reverse this, loosen the fastener back up, and then retorque it to the proper setting. That's a big advantage when you're torquing bolts because the wrench will tell you immediately if it's been over torqued. Plus, this wrench will record automatically all the data. Every time you do use it, it records that data, which can be downloaded into a PC using the included USB download cable. No software is required to download this wrench data. It downloads into an Excel spreadsheet, so no extra software is required. It's strictly plug and play. The USB cable is included, as are the batteries with the unit. So this concludes our demonstration using a traditional click wrench versus the new CDI ASG. Digital wrenches are definitely the future of torque, and we strongly believe in them. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Stacy with Raw Precision Tool Services. We've spent the day today at Snap-on Industrial Brands going through some training. I'm here with Bob with Raw Precision <laughs> Tool Services, our company in Seattle, Washington. I have a few questions for you. Um, how did you start our business? Where did, when did you start it? Uh, it all started in uh, 1987 when I took out a uh, business license in mm -hmm. the state of Washington. And I had a friend that was in a, a uh, helicopter mechanic in Vietnam. And he told me that he had to get his torque wrenches certified. And he also said, Bob, you need to get into this business because I send my torque wrenches out and I can't even get them back. I gotta buy another set of torque wrenches. Mm -hmm. So I went out and I bought a torque tester back in 1990. And then the opportunity uh, came about that we were able to get a surplus CDI torque system. So that's when I came down to CDI the first time and I met uh, Gary Fitzhugh at that, that time. And that was about in 1998. And ever since then, I've come down here every couple of years mm -hmm. and learned the new torque wrenches and the new torque systems that they have been able to manufacture. And we've, had, we've got a great relationship with uh, Snap-on. They're, they're a great company to work with, uh, pretty free with their information. Great. Tell me a little bit about your company and what you do. Both we calibrate, you. repair, and sell precision tools and torque wrenches. That was great, Bob. I had such a great time here at uh, CDI. Uh, I hope to come back soon. And thank you very much, Gary, for having us.